YouTube. Well, I'm sitting out in the parking lot. My wife's in there doing some Christmas shopping. And I decided rather than, you know, wandering Walmart, because we all love Walmart so much, I would come outside and play ham radio. Um, I've been tinkering around with APRS and a couple little quirky things I want to show you. For example, one of them is... Yeah. So, um... I'll show you how to adjust the squelch level so you don't have to hear that all the time. Okay, so as you can see, I've got an analog APRS channel. I created this channel at home in the CPS software. Um, but the hope was I was going to have APRS running just to tinker with it. It's one of those modes that I messed with a long time ago. And I haven't really played with again. That's part of the reason I wanted this 878 radio. <clears throat> is because it had analog APRS in there. But after getting it programmed in there, yeah, um, and I found it's doing that also on, you know, I just programmed this radio the other day. It's doing that on my other zones. Basically, anywhere that there is an analog signal, I'm getting static, and it kind of reminds me of the old CB days in my dad's van, because he was an old Navy officer guy, and he would, you know keep the uh, squelch all the way down on his CB and listen to static for the entire 14 hour drive. So there's a, a way to adjust the squelch on this and let me show you how that is. So what you want to do is I'll go ahead and, well I'm going to leave the volume down because otherwise I'm competing with that is go ahead and make sure you're in the analog mode there and then you're going to go to settings and it's in the radio settings and when you scroll down I think on this one it's like 20 or 21 or something like that. All right, it's item number 21. I think on the 868 it's like item number 18 or 19 or something like that. On that BTEC 6X2, I think it's like number 19. But there's an analog squelch level. What you need to do is go there, hit it, and you'll see the squelch level's off. And I'll turn, I'm going to turn this up so we can hear that. When I go down to squelch level 1, it's like magic, man. It's okay. One is the most sensitive and five is the least, if I remember correctly. Okay, I'm going to turn it to two. And that's all there is to it. Now I have the uh, analog squelch level set. I've got the volume up. As you can see, it's turned up. And I'm not getting that annoying static. So you're not going to hear anything on that channel. But let me go to my Oxford VHF. And we will try talking on it, and you'll see that it still gets signal through. It still works, but I'm not getting the annoying static sound. K5 AT8 testing. Oops, I had my other, my mobile radio on. But you can see I got through, and then it, it cut off. So that's it. That's how you adjust the analog squelch level on the AnyTone. 878 UV, this is the plus. But it should be similar on most of these radios that are kind of the same way. So, just a quick little ham radio tip, um, because nobody wants to go walking through Walmart with a radio on your hip that's squawking noise. So, um, any questions or anything, comment below, hit like, hit subscribe, we do appreciate it. Y'all take care.